welcome, welcome. Well, one of the main questions that I tend to get on a regular is what is it that you use to wash your face? And the honest truth is that it is very difficult for me to answer because I tend to use a wide variety of things on my face. I'm always mixing things, I'm always blending things, and I'm always just trying things on my skin. However, I recently tried this wonderful combination of ingredients on my skin and it is such an amazing, amazing combination. A great great a facial wash that have my skin just looking awesome supple soft and guess what when i use this facial wash on my skin my skin is just fresh looking basically giving me that natural glow that i so desire so well, you wanna know what I use on my face? This is a good one to share with you. So if you're interested in my natural homemade facial wash, anti-aging facial wash, made up of antioxidants such as vitamin A, vitamin E, and vitamin C, guess what guys? This video is for you, so continue. Now take a look, this is a fresh milk and it is one of the main ingredients in our skin repair face wash. We're using milk because it contains lactic acid which uh, produce pigmentation it also helps to heal a uh, dry skin and hydrates the skin it helps to relieve acne and also sunburn not only that milk help to reduce large pores it also help to soften on the skin our next ingredient is uh, coffee and this is freshly brewed coffee coffee help with circulation it help to boost collagen in the skin it helps to diminish wrinkles and fine line and it also help to tighten sagging skin now take a look at the next ingredient for our skin repair wash and this is green tea green tea is also a wrinkle fighting ingredient it helps to diminish the fine lines and wrinkles it also helps to boost collagen production but not only that green tea will help to soften the skin and have your skin looking young and fresh now our next ingredient is a dried orange peel and what I did with these I blend them to a powder and here we have the dried orange peel powder we're using this for skin brightening purposes it contains a vitamin C an antioxidant that will help to clear pigmentation on the skin and also leave your skin just bright radiant and glowing now take a look at what I have here. I have different products made of roses. Here I have rose petal, dried organic rose petal. I also have some rose petal powder and I also have some rose water. What you're gonna do, you're gonna use any one of these you have. Whether you have the rose petal, the rose powder or the rose water, you need just one. Today, however, I am gonna be using the rose petal. Our final ingredient is grapeseed oil and this is going to moisturize and hydrate the skin without clogging the pores. It's a very light oil that will just seep into the skin and it will not leave your skin greasy at all. That means this face wash is great for most skin type, whether it be normal, oily. However, if you have sensitive skin, I suggest you patch this anything at all that you're using on your skin. For this recipe, you are going to need a strainer or a cheesecloth or any cotton cloth that can strain. You're also going to need a jar for storing. Now for the rose petal, I'm going to be using a quarter cup of rose petal, which is 60 ml. So I'm just going to pour my rose petal in a bowl. And next, I'm going to reach for the green tea. And you can choose to just drop the tea bag in like this, or you can choose to open it. I'm just going to just drop it in along with my rose petal. And guys, the next ingredient we're going to use is the dried orange peel. And I'm going to use a half of a tablespoon of dried orange peel, 7.5 ml. And I'm going to pour this in the bowl with the rose petal and the green tea. And here I have the freshly brewed coffee. You want to make sure it is hot. And I'm going to pour about a half a cup of the freshly brewed coffee over the rose petal, the green tea, 
and the orange peel. And if you're using the rose petal powder, you need to add it just as we did with the rose petal. However, if you're using the rose water, you're not going to infuse it with the rest. You're going to wait until the next day to add it, okay? And I'm going to give this a stir. And this smells amazing, like really and truly amazing. Wow, you could... Oh amazing fragrance coming from this now once we do this uh, guess what guys we are gonna cover this this smells amazing and we're gonna set this aside to brew and cool preferably overnight okay don't put it in the freezer leave it on your countertop all right Now we are back after about 12 hours or so and here we have our infused mixture of rose petal, dried orange peel, green tea and coffee. And guess what we're going to do before we strain this? We are going to reach for our fresh milk. I'm going to pour a quarter cup of fresh milk, 60 ml on top of this mixture once we have the milk we are going to reach for the tea bag we're going to open it if you didn't open it before and the next step is to blend so i'm just going to pour my mixture in the blender make sure to get all the rose petal in the blender and take a look at this cover and take a look at this after blending and now we are going to strain now this is such an amazing face wash great fragrance but very uh, very effective now let me make sure to get everything out now guys here we have the trash and you can also pour some brown sugar or some white sugar and this trash and use it as a facial scrub and take a look guys here we have our skin repair water but we're not yet done next is the grapeseed oil and i'm going to use a half a tablespoon of grapeseed oil 7.5 ml and i'm going to pour this in you can also choose to add the oil just before blending that way you are sure that it is completely blended with the rest of the ingredient so next i'm going to pour my face wash in a jar perfect amount now take a look guys this is it uh, this is our skin repair face wash you can use it on your face to wash your face as is what you're gonna do you are gonna take cotton cloth and let me pour a little out so you're gonna take your cotton you're gonna dip it in the face wash and you're gonna wash your face with it like this for about three to four minutes just circulating on your skin like this and then you're gonna rinse off with some room temperature water once you rinse off you are gonna pat dry the skin and you're good to go now this can be stored in your refrigerator for about seven to ten days now a unique thing about this facial wash guy is that if you have your regular store-bought facial cleanser Cleanser. So let's say I have some facial cleanser here in my hands. What you can do, you could tip a little bit of this in your facial cleanser and you could just rub it in it like this and use it to wash your face just 
the same. It's going to be very effective. If you have pure castile soap, you can use a little bit of this facial wash in your castile soap and use it as a cleanser, just cleanse your face. However, if you're going to use this alone, wash your face with your regular facial wash before and then you reach for the cotton, dip it in, rub it on your face like I show, almost like a rinse, and then you rinse your face off. Use this every day as often as you can and this is going to help to repair your skin. It's going to have your skin looking glowing. It's going to get rid of the spots and blemishes. It's going to help to get rid of those large pores but best of all it's going to leave your skin just soft, supple, radiant and glowing. So there you have. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And guys, take a look at the end of this video. I recommend some other videos that you might be interested in watching. So just click on any one of those links and you're on your way to another wonderful video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.